Fringe farmers blocked major roadways outside Paris this week with heavy equipment. Combines and tractors could be seen rolling into position as part of a protest of government policies. Farmers say threaten their livelihoods. The government responding saying the new policies are needed to combat climate change. But farmers argue the regulations are suffocating. According to France media outlets, one of the main points of contention for farmers is a requirement under the EU's nature restoration law for 4% of farmland to remain unused, something farmers say cuts into their production capacity. The law went into effect in 2023. European leaders contend the policies are necessary to limit the harm done by pesticides and fertilizer. Leaders cite a significant drop in insect and bird populations in the European countryside tied to current farming practices. That's according to the Washington Post. However, demonstrators claim the regulations are too costly, with many farmers being pushed into bankruptcy. Protesters want the government to address soaring prices for fuel, fertilizer, crops, and feed for livestock. Farmers say their massive convoy that disrupted traffic around Paris and other areas of France was not designed to ruin French people's lives, telling reporters they simply want lawmakers to find solutions to the unfolding crisis, a crisis made worse by the war in Ukraine, creating a global food supply disruption. Demonstrators also pointed out France imports food from countries with fewer regulations and lower cost, something local farmers cannot compete with. During a press conference Tuesday, French President Emmanuel Macron said the European Union needs to act. He will meet with the EU Commission president on Thursday. The government response to the parade of farm equipment in the streets included 15,000 police officers as well as armored vehicles to break up traffic. So far, there are no reports of violence other than demonstrators burning some hay bales and tires. Some farmers reportedly played cards as they continued to wait on concessions from the government. The demonstrations are not just limited to France. In recent weeks, similar protests have been playing out in Germany and across Europe.